Hey guys, let us talk about modulus of a number in this video. So mod of a number or modulus of a number as people say is the absolute value of that number. So by definition if I have a number x and I take the modulus of that I get the answer as the same number x. Or if I have to take modulus of a negative number say minus x again the modulus of that number is x. So what you can infer from this is that the modulus or the absolute value of a number gives you the magnitude of that number. That is you get the value of that number regardless of the sign. Let's say we have the number 7 and we take the mod of it. So mod of 7 is equal to 7. Or if we have the number as minus 7 and we take the mod of it, again we have the value as 7. So what could be the value of modulus of 2 minus 3? Well again solve the expression inside the modulus which is minus 1 right now and we take the mod of it. And minus 1's absolute value or its magnitude is equal to 1. So the answer is 1. Okay, let us do some examples on this concept now. We have been given that mod of x plus 2 is equal to 5. And we have been asked what is the value of x. Well, let us first substitute this x plus 2 as a. So we have mod of a is equal to 5. Now, we know that if we take the mod of 5, we get 5. And if we take mod of minus 5, we also get the answer is 5. So the values that a can take is 5 or minus 5. But we know that x plus 2 is equal to a. So x plus 2 can be equal to 5 or x plus 2 can be equal to minus 5. So we have x plus 2 is equal to 5 or x plus 2 is equal to minus 5. So x equals to 5 minus 2 that is 3 or x equals to minus 5 minus 2 that is minus 7. Therefore the value x can take are two values which is 3 and minus 7. So this is the right answer to this question. x's value is 3 or minus 7. With this I have a question for you. You have to find the value of x in this expression. Well let us isolate this modulus part. So we have mod of x plus 1 times 10. So 10 is here. Is equal to let's move 3 to the right hand side of equals to. So it becomes 23 minus 3. Now I have x plus 1 mod is equal to 23 minus 3 is 20 and this goes to the right of equal to which becomes 20 by 10. So 10 times 2 is 20. Now we have a simplified expression which is x plus 1 taken mod of that is equal to 2. Now again let's substitute this x plus 1 as a. So mod of a is equal to 2. Now we know that mod of 2 is equal to 2 and mod of minus 2 is also equal to 2. So a can be 2 or a can be minus 2. Therefore we have a as 2 or minus 2. That's why we can write our expression as x plus 1 is equal to 2 or x plus 1 is equal to minus 2. Now let's solve this. x is equal to 2 minus 1 is 1 or x is equal to minus 2 minus 1 is equal to minus 3. So x is equal to 1 and x is equal to minus 3. So there are two options correct here 1 and minus 3. 